Here we are. I told you I was going to bring you to a bit of a surprise. We're at the uh, Tide Bell. Um, I've seen this before. Hello and welcome and all that. <laughs> We're at the Brickworks. We've actually come over to shoot the Sea Tide Bell or the Tide Bell. We'll probably do that this evening and try and get a bit of a sunset if we can. The window's going through so you've seen the light the way, the way through. Uh, two second time, I'm focusing on the door at the front. At F11 everything should be sharp. Well, here we are. I told you I was going to bring you to a bit of a surprise. We're at the uh, Tide Bell. Um, I've seen this before. I've seen it on images and I've seen some cracking shots of it with nice long exposures and stuff like that. Um, the billboard for the local town, which I can't pronounce, but I'll put the name up for you. Um, it's got a lovely picture of the sunset behind it. Beautiful, beautiful orangey skies. Obviously the sides around it. Now, whether we're going to be here long enough to get the tide, I'm not sure, the tide is coming in. Um, it's due in about half 10, and I think it's just after seven at the moment, half seven. So uh, we'll see, it's coming in quite quick, but I'm not sure whether it's actually gonna make it all the way up or not. So the three of us are still out, obviously. Um, Owen's gone for the left-hand side, looking across. Jason's gone, and he's using, I like these red rocks, I mean, these red rocks down here are amazing, so I'll probably get a shot with the rocks in them as well. But I'm going to use this sort of line here. I'm going to start with this. The only problem is I've got the boats out in the background, so I'm going to have to clone the boats out. So I'm going to use these rocks here as foreground, leading through the direction that way and actually looking down underneath. I'm going to go down a little bit lower. So that's my plan. So I'm going to get the camera out and I'll speak to you in a moment. Quick change of plans. I set my composition up here thinking that this is what I wanted to take, um, but I've just noticed a little uh, rock pool down there, a little puddle in it. So I'm gonna quickly change over now. I'm gonna put the wide angle lens on and go down there, put the camera really, really low and sort of look up at it and try and get a reflection and just do something a bit different while I'm waiting for the tide to come in. So that's the plan, see how we get on. Right, so I have actually got a lovely little shot set up now. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to take a few little versions of this. Um, I'm going to start off without any filters on whatsoever. And I've got the reflection in the pool, which is really nice. And this lovely little rock that's leading you through the image. And it's just starting to spit with rain, so I'm going to be quick. Um, I'm going to focus in certain different areas. And uh, just to make sure I've got all the information, I'm bracketing five, you know, five brackets. Focus now on the foreground, I focused on the rock, and now I'm just going to focus on the tower of the bell tower and uh, do the same again. Each time, two second timer. That is a cracking little shot. 
loads of mood in the sky the bell tower is high enough away from the the mainland behind it so that's sticking through and they've got a lovely reflection in the foreground so we're going to put the lens cap back on we're going to go and find our coat and get covered up before we get too wet but what is nice is the sky is starting to drop below down there and it looks pretty good that's again let's just take one more while i'm here take that shot it just might look quite nice with the raindrops in it so lens cap on try and keep the lens as dry as we can and hopefully we'll get a good shot out of this eventually <laughs> move the camera again to another location I've just been set up down here like I was saying I'm going to shoot along that direction but again as you can see down there my camera is nice and low and I've come down what I'm trying to do is lift it right up in the air if I can and uh, by getting down nice and low I can pull it up in the up into the sky and I've got a cracking little shot at the moment looking up at it what I could do with it is the water if the water can come up and start to run down this little gully just here this shot would be absolutely fantastic really really good with that little bit of color in the sky the big dominant bell excuse me um, and into water as a foreground so we're gonna hang around I'll switch you back on once the water gets somewhere near that bell and it's definitely getting closer As you can see, it's getting a little bit darker now. The light is definitely dropping. There's a little bit of color on the horizon, but most of it now is going a bit more grayer in the sky. Um, I've taken another shot from over at that little pool of water. I've got down really, really low, and it's absolutely fantastic. You've got this perfect reflection top and bottom, so dead pleased with that one. You've probably already seen it already. Um, I've come back over to this side. I'm hoping that the water's gonna come up and run down that little gully there, uh, fill the water between it. So I'm hoping that's gonna work. And it should be, looking at the level of the, the sand, the legs and everything should be underwater by the time it gets to that state um, and then I'll make a bit of a retreat back. The other two are getting their camera set up now as well but uh, I've gone for a simple composition with the bell bang in the centre of the image and I've tried to put the horizon somewhere on the thirds um, and then I've got more foreground interest of using the water hopefully as it comes in. The only problem with this image is going to be these two big banks of seaweed uh, on top of the rocks which are pretty dark and uh, not very pleasant to look at but, but we might be able to do something once the water gets round and we will see. So yeah, it's just a waiting game now. We're gonna sit and wait for the water, get the shot, and then I'm gonna to have to get off home, that's for sure. The sky is starting to kick off. In fact, the sky is starting to go absolutely ballistic. I think what I need to do is try and find a torch in my bag so I can illuminate the front of the bell. That is starting to do something else really, really nice. That is 
beautiful. I'm going to try a couple of longer exposures if I can. Still bracket in so I can keep all the dioramic range in here. But I keep moving my composition slightly. It's just the water I'm trying to get now. But the water is really coming around the bottom. You can see the water now around the bottom there. But the sky behind it is proper firing up. Getting this lovely orange glow as well. <laughs> keep moving, as long as you keep moving, you're fine. <laughs> Perfect. Glad you didn't stop. <laughs> Come on. Oh, don't start barking now. Come on. <laughs> yes. That's it, you assert yourself. <laughs> Hard dog. <laughs> Not if you spawn your shots, guys. That's Come all right. On. Get a crash, stop. <laughs> The only problem with waiting for a long exposure is you're waiting and waiting and waiting when you're doing five multiple long exposures and the light's changing all the time. So I'm hoping it's going to stop so I can flip it around to a vertical. Oh, that last one's amazing. Right. Go around to a vertical. Desperate. going to hit the shutter button and let it do what it's going to do. This is all about the colour in the sky and the shadow and the silhouette. Absolutely beautiful, well worth it. What a beautiful finish to the weekend. Yeah, made up with that. Gotta say, these conditions have been brilliant. The sky just lit up with fire, it was really, really nice. It's still going on now, and it's been going now for 10 15 minutes. It's absolutely stunning to have that lovely pink in the background. I'm doing a couple of long exposures now. Now the water's come up and round. Um, I've got the bell on the thirds, on the right hand thirds, as you'll see in a moment, but it's just nice having that nice smooth water all smoothed out, and it's a nice pinky glow to it as well. All I want now is just a bit more water to come up. It's getting up closer to the front of the tripod. So I want a bit more water coming up just to take a little bit more of the seaweed away. Um, but it seems to be working pretty well. And the sky is fantastic. Very nice way, very, very nice way to end the weekend. Even though I am tired. I'm gonna say thank you anyway for watching now. I'm gonna show you these last few images. I'm gonna check out. And uh, don't forget to watch the rest of the stuff we do. Um, Wednesdays and Fridays, Wednesdays and Sundays, sorry. And uh, look at the water coming. Till next time, ciao for now. Don't forget, you've got to be out, you've got to be in it to win it. You've got to get out and shoot. Bye.